questions loom surrounding the delayed execution of a search warrant for a Baltimore teen just days after an armed robbery and murder. Yeah, the murder victim, James Blue III, was the husband of a Baltimore City Police Lieutenant. And WMAR 2 News' Kendall Green is looking into the timeline of that crime spree. And, and you know what? Everybody's reading into this that this murder could have been avoided. Uh, union say Damian Kelly. Now, uh, days after the warrant was signed by a judge, a delay between county and city police left 18-year-old Shehu Kargbo free from being taken into custody. That lack of coordination between city and county police is getting a handful of blame this evening. So I open up the door and he just runs at me with a gun and a, like a black mask on and I'm just thinking it's a dream. Like this can't be real. This is like a movie. And the plot from that initial robbery at Wendy's in Baltimore County on January 6th would only thicken over the weeks to follow. 18-year-old former Wendy's employee Shehu Karkbo, who police charged with armed robbery, will go weeks without being arrested for their crime. When it was happening, yeah, no, I thought I was going to get shot. Like, when he pushed me and I'm like, okay, he's serious. That gun looks real. I don't know if it's loaded, but it looks real. Kayla John's fear that she'd be shot by the Mervo student didn't come to fruition, for her at least. But it would on January 25th for James Blue the third. He would become a victim of the student's deadly crime spree, according to police. They say he ambushed Blue as he was sitting inside of his car outside of a home on Walker Avenue. Witnesses say he walked up to Blue's car and started shooting. As Blue fell out of the vehicle, the gunman allegedly stood over him and fired several more shots. That gunman was later identified as Shehu Karkbo, raising questions within the community. If, if they knew who he was, they should have got him right after this was over. You know what I mean? If they knew this guy used to work here, why didn't they get him the same day? Why are they waiting so long to even look for him? On Thursday, January 20th, Baltimore County Police say they got in contact with Baltimore City Police to discuss a no-knock warrant for Cargbo, who lived within city limits. That same day, the warrant was signed by the county state's attorney. The next day, on the 21st, a judge signed it by 10 a.m., the following Monday on the 24th, county and city police plan to execute the search warrant. Police, however, delayed the execution of that search warrant. The following day, the 25th, James Blue III would be gunned down. Then on the 26th, police finally executed the search warrant and arrested Clark Bow. It's wrong. He shouldn't have died. He shouldn't have died at all. And I feel so bad for the lieutenant. My heart goes out to her. And I, it's definitely the whole family. But it's just, it shouldn't have happened. Now, this information just into our newsroom from Baltimore City Police. Baltimore County personnel, it's a quote, Baltimore County personnel and Baltimore City personnel communicated, coordinated, and agreed to the execution date of January 25th. Now, it was determined there needed to be more planning between the parties between the execution of that search warrant. At the request of Baltimore Police Department, SWAT, the parties agreed to execute on January 26th. Kelly?